the biggest names in baseball were born right here in Ohio. Cy Young, Raleigh Fingers, and Kevin Euclid, just to name a few. And now you can add Reynoldsburg native Mike Matheny to that list. The St. Louis Cardinals manager has become a staple name in the bigs. While he doesn't get back that often, St. Louis Cardinals skipper Mike Matheny always enjoys a trip back to his hometown of Reynoldsburg, Ohio. This particular visit in early December was special as he was honored with the key to the city. Matheny is one of the great success stories to come out of this small town just outside of Columbus. He played in the bigs for 13 seasons, was a four-time gold glove winner, and now is one of the youngest managers in the league. Just like when most kids leave this town, you never know exactly how it's all going to play out. I've been very fortunate and blessed. Who kind of helped you, guide you towards baseball? Well, you know, I think most, most of us would have some sort of family member and mine was without question my father. Growing up, Matheny was never a specialized athlete. Football season turned into basketball, turned into baseball, and I was very grateful that I was exposed to all those. But there was something about the game of baseball that really felt natural, especially behind the plate. Anybody who meets you says you're a natural born leader. For you though, when did you really see those leadership qualities start to come out of you? Well, I think they're, um, they, they have to coexist with uh, the position of catching or else you probably don't do it very long. And uh, especially at the major league level, there's a lot of responsibility put on that position. And, and uh, that was something I enjoyed doing. And that would be his ticket to the next level. Out of high school, he played college ball at Michigan. And then in 1991, he was taken by the Brewers in the MLB draft. Along the way, he'd make stops in Toronto, St. Louis, and San Francisco. It's a never-ending process of learning. Uh, that was one of the best tips that Tony La Russa gave me as he stepped away and, and said, uh, you know, you just have to learn something new every single day. La Russa is also one of the many people who believe that Matheny could handle taking over as manager when the Hall of Famer stepped down in 2011. We'd have conversations. It was very seldom about my game and how I was going to play. He would talk to me as if uh, I was a, a, another manager or a coach and say, when you coach or manage, this is something you want to pay close attention to. So with no prior coaching or managing experience in the league, the Cardinals hired Matheny on as their skipper. There's a lot of expectations when you take over a team that won in dramatic fashion like the 2011 Cardinals did. Uh, fortunately, uh, surrounded by one, a very good staff. And then also, even more importantly to my book, uh, is the leadership we had inside our clubhouse. There's been no drop in production. In 2014, he became the fifth manager in baseball history to lead his team to the playoffs in each of his first three seasons. And now it's all about winning a World Series title. This season, could it be the one you've come so close in the past couple of years? We've had a couple of close runs and um, to, to me, once again, uh, it, it all comes down to the process. And I believe we have all the pieces in place. Well, and on a side note, while Matheny did go to Michigan, he does root for the Buckeyes on the ice at least, where his daughter Katie is a forward for the OSU women's hockey team. Great guy right there.